Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa, and if you like videos of hauls and DIYs and clean with me's and sometimes just to chit chat, then you need to subscribe and please click the bell button because it will notify you of every time I download a video. So today I have for you a big haul, but I want to explain why it is so big. Um, a little backstory. I actually had hip replacement surgery July 10th, so about five weeks ago, and I was not able to go to Dollar Tree or Walmart or any of the places I love to go every day. So I was not able to go for about two and a half to three weeks. So it was in that time that I started seeing all these new fall products being introduced at Dollar Tree and it was driving me crazy because I wanted to go so bad. So the first clear I got to be able to ride in a car, because I couldn't drive yet, but the first clearance I got to be able to ride, I had my husband take me to Dollar Tree. And I think we went to maybe two or three Dollar Trees within about a week period. So since that point till now, I have gone to several different places. So I wanted to show you all that I have. So it's kind of a lot, but we'll get through it. So anyway, the first thing I want to show you is some things that I got from actually Kirkland's. Um, the reason I want to show you that real quick is because it is something that I did. Um, a lot of times we stay away from clearance items because they're very specific. So one of the things I wanted to show you is this item right here. It is a tin, like a galvanized tin box, I guess. And it says sweat paint zone. Well, I don't like that. And at the time, I actually found this on clearance um, before my surgery, but it was actually more clearance now. But when I found it before, I was wanting to decorate my kitchen with a lemon theme. So what I did was I bought this, not this one, because I actually just got another one because I may want to do something else with it. But I got this, and I printed out a picture of some lemons and I cut it out and I just can you see it isn't that cute I cut out the picture I printed it out cut it out and I just mod podged this on there well I also painted the words I painted off with white I used like a white chalk paint and covered the words and then I was able to mod podge the cute lemons so then I had something for my lemon um, decor and this was only like a dollar seventy so this is a super cheap just because it's on clearance just because it's not exactly what you want doesn't mean that you shouldn't get it okay that's all I'm saying but anyway so when I went back after my surgery I found another one of these but I also found these and it's got the red and black buffalo check. It says eat, sleep, sleep, chill, repeat. I could leave that on there, but I'm thinking I may do something with this for Christmas. So anyway, I thought I got two of those and those were regular $6.99 and they were on clearance for $2.97 and then an extra 40% off. So, super cheap. Then I got this, and I'm just going to use this as is because I thought this was really cute for my coffee slash cocoa station when it starts getting cool. And I don't know what the price was this of this was regular because it's, it's um, covered up, but I got it on clearance for, can you see it? Does it show? For $3.97 plus 40% off. Then the last thing I got from Kirkland's was this, and it's cute, bunny love, but I don't, I don't really want that, so I'm probably going to paint over this and either 
decorate it somehow for Christmas or fall. Um, and then you can, it's got a clip where you can hang a picture. So I thought that was cute. And this, I don't know how much it was regular because again, it's covered up, but it was $3.47 with an additional 40% off. So that is what I got from Kirkland's. Um, okay, so let's move on to Dollar Tree. I'm, I'm going to run through this real quick because it's a lot. So Dollar Tree has these cute, cute, um, you can tell they're not, it's kind of like a paper mache kind of feel. Um, they're not plastic, but they're not ceramic or anything like that. But they've got this little flower on it and these little beads. I may leave those on there. I may not. I don't know. But they have them in white and different sizes as well. And I also liked the um, the gold um, kind of, there's like, it's an orange pumpkin, but it's got a little gold shimmer and it's got a sunflower on top. So I may leave the sunflower. I'm not sure about this little ocean algae looking thing. I don't know. Um... But anyway, I got two of those. Then they have this different shaped white pumpkin right here. Can you see? It's a little different size and shape. So I got that. Then they also had these um, ceramic um, pumpkins. And they had them... One is more of a bronzy color, and one is a little more orange, but you can't really tell. It's not a huge drastic difference, but I thought they were cute. I may do something with them, tone out down the shininess. I don't know. Then they also have these two different cream-colored um, farmhousey looking pumpkins and I might just leave those as is because I like the color of them so and I'm going to try to incorporate less color less orange in my decor this year and more neutral colors having said that however I did manage to find I'd been seeing these and I was hoping I was not going to be too late to get these but it's like a um, velvety covered styrofoam um, material the pumpkin is styrofoam but the material is like a like a velvet um, but this one is brown they also have a champagne color so there's a little bit of a difference in color on these and then they also have the orange this beautiful teal and all of this is from the Dollar Tree. And then they have the cream color. So I thought these three would look really pretty together. Don't you think? So then I found these two pails. And I thought these pails were so cute. They have a scarecrow one. And then they have a sunflower one. I thought they were so cute. I'm not sure about the color of the one with the scarecrow on it. I don't know if I like this color or not, so I may do something with, different with this color. But I, I thought this was pretty. And you know what? Sometimes I get things because I see other video YouTubers um, doing crafts with things from the Dollar Tree. And then I, when I go to get it, it's gone. So while I saw this, I went ahead to get it just in case I want to do something different with it. Um, and then I got this. I thought this was cute. This is just like a raw wood. You can see in here you can put pencils or you can put straws or, you know, plastic utensils. Um, they One side of it has the little slits, and then the other side is just solid. So you can paint this, do whatever you want. You can use one side. For Halloween, you might want to paint a jack-o'-lantern face, and then the other side you can use, um, paint it any color you want, even if it's a different color, and use it for um, for fall, Thanksgiving, more neutral. Then I got these pumpkins, and I got a lot of them because you never know if you're going to change them up. But this orange one 
um, says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes and it's orange and I think they all the, all the orange ones say the same thing and then this um, cream one says gather with grateful hearts and I thought that was really pretty I may not do anything with this one um, just keep it the way it is also they have this really cute happy harvest um, little box it's got a hanger on the back so you can hang it on the wall or you can just stand it up some of these smaller items I love because I love using them in my coffee station um, one of the other things I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I just got it because who knows I may see a craft idea to use them but they have these little hay bales and I may use this maybe one of them in my coffee station as well but I got three of those they're for a dollar so you know you can't go wrong um, I also got and I haven't seen them anymore since I got these but they're a little um, shopping bags but they're buffalo check shopping bags and I actually did see a video um, a YouTube video I don't remember who it was but they cut this out they cut they you know use this to cover another item and they used it instead of having to paint the buffalo check because it looks hard to me I can't figure out how they do it but anyway this way you don't have to paint it almost done well not really anyway okay so I see these all the time at Dollar Tree but I never get them because I think they just look so flimsy but duh why don't you just undo the back of it you can undo this it's just glued on stuff it you can buy stuffing buy a cheap pillow from Walmart and use the stuffing from it stuff the legs and make it look much better you can stuff the arms too and just make it look much better that way you know it doesn't look like you just spent a dollar on it probably even less um, I got this chevron ribbon super cute I love chevron I don't know if it's still in but I love it so and then I thought these were cute these will be good for my coffee bar they're just little um, kind of like beanbag scarecrow little guys I thought they were cute I may um, dress it up a little bit or cut some of this because this ribbon's awfully big so I don't know cut some of this off too just tidy it up a little bit um, I bought these because you never know what you might need for a craft someday and these are cute little just plastic jars with a lid for a dollar and you don't have to just use them for fall I did find this thankful um, little sign and it's got the buffalo check on all four sides I may use it like this I may use it for something else I'm not sure you could paint the inside and you could put little tea lights in it you could paint the inside like white and put little tea lights and set it on your table that would be cute and then you don't have to worry about painting the bottom then these little styrofoam um, fall shapes you have pumpkins you have different sized pumpkins you have different sized leaves so I thought this would be cute even when you're decorating your table for your Thanksgiving meal um I thought these little guys were cute you know how you always have flower arrangements or you have something around your house that you have you know year-round but you just want to kind of make it a little bit um, fall or Halloween or whatever you can use this just stick these down in there and you don't have to change anything except at the end of the season take this out and add something different okay so I have only seen one pack of these I wish I don't know if they had more when I went because like I said I was just finally able to get out of the house but these are really cute these are little metal um, words written in cursive and they say thankful one says harvest and one says welcome you can use these when you make a wreath or you can use these um, if you want to you could actually um, I don't know if you could use it on this if it's long enough it may be too long but um, 
Anyway, you can use them on anything. So I thought, why not get it? I'll use it for something. Um, I thought these are really cute. These are DIY stickers. They have some that are like maple leaves and pumpkins. And they are the bare wood. So you can paint them whatever color you want. And then they have some different size pumpkins that are different colors. Some are just orange. Some are the bare wood. And some are actually orange with with glitter. Okay. Almost done. I really am almost done. Okay. So I thought this was really cute. This sign. I love the sunflowers. I actually may not do anything different to this because I actually really like it. Who knows though. I may see somebody do something with it that I even like better. But I like that as is. I love this farm fresh apple sign. This is so cute. But you can also, I like that they put the tag on the, the string. That way you don't have to try to worry about getting sticky stuff off the back. But you can also use this and just paint it like an apple yourself. Um, then they have these signs. I love these um, signs with the red truck. And then they have this sign. It's it's shaped like a jar. And up here is uh, like a burlap covering it. And it's the same with this one too. It has the burlap. But this one just says grateful and blessed. And you can actually um, use this for other projects if, if you want to. And then I love this. I thought this was really cute. This uh, red truck, happy harvest. Looks like the back of a truck with pumpkins all in the back. Um, so I thought that was really cute. Now, the final thing is something that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, I think they're calling it something different these days. But I just wanted to share this because I thought these were so cute. It's back to school time. But they have all of these um, chalkboards. But they have clothespins attached to them so if you like to organize I love organizing so if you like to organize you can just paint these um, paint these clothes pins whatever color you want to match your decor you can color them black you can color them white whatever and you can use these to label your storage bins I love these things I think I got five packs of them because you never know I also got these. This was in the little, they have like a little ice cream section, but I thought these were so cute. They are easels. Here's one you can see. It's an easel. It has the arrow, but I thought this would be cute for when you're entertaining. You can write the name of the dish that maybe in a crock pot or, or a dish. You can write the name of it and set it right in front of it. I thought that would be really cute. Even though it's blue. I may change the color of that. But the last thing is I have to have lists when I'm cleaning my house or going through my day or whatever. And I found this in the back to school section and I thought this was so neat. You can just make your list for the day, slip it in this pocket, use a dry erase marker to mark off when you're finished with, an, uh, with a certain chore. And then when you're done for the day, you can just wipe all that off, take the paper out, and the next day reuse it. So I thought this was great. And this was a dollar. So anyway, that is it. I know that was a lot, and I know this is a long video. But like I said, it's been piling up for me because I've been unable to shop. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, tell me in the comments below what you liked out of this and what you feel like you are going to go to the Dollar Tree or to Target or to Kirkland's to try to find yourself. I appreciate you tuning in and please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll know when I um, post another video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.